good morning friends today we are dealing with the poem the coromandel fishes by sarojini naidu it is the prescribed poem in your fifth sum core text indian writing in english to talk about sarojini naidu she was an indian political activist and poet she was fully engaged in the independence movement she is a proponent of civil rights women's emancipation and anti imperialist ideas she was totally against the british rule she was an important figure in india's struggle for independence from colonial rule her work as a poetess earned her the sobriquet or the title the nightingale of india or bharat kogila by mahatma gandhi because of her color imagery and lyrical quality of her poetry so let us go to the poem the coromandel fishers rise brothers rise the waking skies pray to the morning light here the poetess addresses to fishers coromandel is a coastal area in south india she is addressing the fisher fisherman in that area you know she inspires them through this poem rise brother she addresses fishers as brothers rise brothers rise the wakening skies pray to the morning light you wake up in the early morning pray to the morning light she just suggests the routines to the fishermen wake up early in the morning and have your prayer the wind lies asleep in the arms of the dawn like a child that has cried all night see you know what the importance of the wind in connection with the fishermen the wind decides their destination the calm the weather that will ensure they are uh, one day's fishing so the wind what is the condition of the wind now it is very calm just like you know what is the imagery used here the wind lies asleep in the arms of the dawn it is the morning it is the dawn and it lies asleep it is very calm like a child like a child that has cried all night just imagine what a wonderful imagery that she brings you know when a child cries all the night by morning it will be very fatigue uh, very tired and it will calmly asleep just like you know the wind is very calm now it is asleep in the hands of or arms of morning come let us gather our nets from the shore and set our catamarans free come you know she just imagines considers them as her brothers come let us you know together she includes herself among them gather our nets from the shore and set our catamarans free catamarans is a small boats yach so let us start our fishing let us move to the sea to capture the leaping wealth of the tide you know it is the very uh, time that you can make use of it it is the time of tide and there is a leaping wealth or wealth of the ocean what is the wealth of the ocean you know fishers you can you can have them you can capture them for we are the kings of the sea you know how she inspires them 
how she inspires the fishermen we know they are poor people but she uh, addresses them as what the kings of the sea so the whole wealth of the sea is yours you come and gather all the leaping wealth of the tide no longer delay let us hasten away in the track of the sea girl's call don't be lazy don't be don't make any delay let us hasten make it fast in the track of the sea girl's call you know sea girl is a bird and it is uh, supposed to give directions to fisherman whenever it or whenever it uh, point some word fishes ga- uh, ga- uh, gathering or the wealth of the fishes it makes sounds so f- this is the seagull so let us give ears to the seagull's call it will give us direction where we can have our wealth so please track just li- uh, track the ways of seagull's call the sea is our mother the cloud is our brother the waves are our comrades all see don't be afraid of the calamities that can expect from the sea because sea is our mother they are our family members you know cloud is brother and the waves are our comrades all our friends at all so don't be afraid of such things you know they will protect you so please come don't be lazy what though we toss at the fall of the sun where the hand of the sea god drives see why are you afraid of see because the sea has been in the hands of sea god sea god is driving it it is tossing at the fall of the sun when the sun comes when it is uh, in the morning you know the sea is in the hands of sea god it drives the sea so why are you afraid of this he who holds the storm by the hair will hide in his breast our leaves you know the sea god who will hold the storm by the hair you know uh, it is uh, such a wonderful imagery that you know by uh, capturing or you know holding the hair you can't move so he who holds the storm we are fishermen always afraid of the storm so sea god he is there he is capturing or holding storm by the hair and will hide in his breast our leaves you know our leaves the leaves of the fisherman are very safe in the breast of sea god and he will control all the storm so don't be afraid sweet is the shade of the coconut glade and the scent of the mango mango grove you know now she is describing the very beautiful shore sweet is the shade of the coconut shadow coconut glade there and the scent of the mango grove mango grove means small forest so you can enjoy coconut and mango there on the shore and sweet are the sands at the full of the moon with the sound of the voices we love and what is the seashore it is very sweet with the sands you know very beautiful description about the seashore at the full of the moon when you know the full moon comes it is the time of the tide okay it is the time of the tide then there will be the moon at it is full strength and the sound that you can hear that is the voices of that we love we fall in love with those voices and there is nothing to afraid of that the poet is want to remind them but sweeter oh brothers the kiss of the spray and the dance of the wild forms glee even the sea shore is so much beautiful and attractive but more than that that what 
द किस ऑफ द स्प्रे और द सी वेव्स दैट इज मोर अट्रैक्टिव दैन दिस और इट इज इक्वल टू दैट ओ ब्रदर्स द किस ऑफ द स्प्रे एंड द डांस ऑफ द वाइल्ड फॉर्म्स प्ले यू नो द वाइल्ड वेव्स दैट टू इज एज अट्रैक्टिव एज वॉट मैंगो ग्रो एंड कोकोनट ग्लेड रो ब्रदर्स रो टू द एडज ऑफ द वर्ज वो द लो स्काई मेड्स विथ द सी सी शी इज गिविंग दम डिरेक्शन शी इज गिविंग दम डिस् यू नो दे आर डिरेक्शन रो रो यू आर याचिस यू आर कैटमरान टू वो टू द एडज ऑफ द वर्ज टू द एडज ऑफ द एंड वो द लो स्काई मेड्स विथ द सी यू नो दर इज अ यूनियन वी कैन जस्ट इमेजि दर इज अ यूनियन बिटवीन द स्काई एंड द सी दर इज ए स्मॉल नैरो गैप बिटवीन दम वेन एवर वी मूव टू द एडज ऑफ द सी वी कैन फील दैट यूनियन सो यू गो टू द डेप्थ यू नो इन टू द सी एंड हैव योर gather you a wealth from there and don't be afraid of wild storms or anything uh, sea god will protect you and go and rise yourself okay this is the paraphrasing uh, uh, literal paraphrasing of the poem okay thank you